Halo gave us an update on the ranking system, but we really gotta break it down because I don't think anybody is really happy about it. What's up everybody, it's your boy, it's Elliot. Welcome back to another take here with Esports with Elrod. And we gotta dive into this Halo tweet right here. In our latest developer blog, we outline Halo Infinite's ranking system, the supporting matchmaking systems beneath it, and answer common community questions. Read up to learn and see how we'll be improving it moving forward. When you open it up and you go to the Waypoint app and you can you could read this for yourself, it opens out with this. Ranked multiplayer has been a cornerstone of online Halo experience since way back in 2004 when Halo 2 released. Over the years, the ranked experience in Halo has taken many shapes and forms, but the goal has always remained the same. Provide players with a fair, balanced, fun, competitive experience where you can test your skill and earn new ranks all on your own by becoming a better Halo player than you were the day before. So they're saying no matter what, since Halo 2, Halo 3, every iteration of Halo, the ranking system has always been about having a fun, balanced system. Why doesn't it feel that way? And if this wasn't confirmed earlier, we are gonna get a reset with every season. So in May, expect another rank reset. And it says right here, at the start of each season or after any rank reset, players will begin their journey unranked and must play 10 qualification matches before earning an initial CSR. For players who usually find themselves at the top of the ladder, the highest CSR you can earn at the qualification matches is typically within a diamond tier. At initial release, the max CSR was Diamond 1, but after our mid-season update, it was reset to Diamond 5. Meaning that if you were an Onyx player and you did your 10 qualification matches, you would come out at Diamond 1. After their initial reset, you would come out at Diamond 5. And the big question that we all had was, does playing like social matches, just standard big team battle, does that affect your CSR or your MMR? Does my performance in the social impact my MMR rank? In some instances, we will leverage your performance in a social to build a baseline starting point when you start your ranked journey. Boom, right there in the first sentence, yes. In some cases, they will use your social playlist for your ranked score. Why? Well, let's find out. We use this data from all over the game, both at a playlist level and a game mode level, to approximate your skill and ratings with other playlists if you're playing them for the first time. The reason for this is to get you closer to an accurate skill rating faster and thus reduce the number of unfair matches we make for you and the people in your game. I think you guys have to go back to the whiteboard on this. I don't know what happened at the end of the video. The recording just kind of went bonkers on me, but we're gonna wrap this video up here. What do you guys think about the update to the matchmaking system or at least the explanation of it? Does it make sense to you guys? Do you like it? Do you think the community's a little overreacting? In my next video, I'm gonna do a follow-up where Snipe Down has a whole breakdown of what he thinks about it. But if you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe, turn the notifications on, because later today or tomorrow, I'm gonna to do the next video, the next part of this one, where Snipe Down kind of breaks down what he thinks Halo should be doing to fix their matchmaking system, more specifically, the rank system.